Not sure if you happen to notice some of the changes that Google's been implementing. Real quick, let's take a search on thoughts on Google. And as we go over some thoughts on Google, you can kind of see all these little posts here. What might catch your eye as something different? These little profile pictures are different. These right here, where it said Matt Cutts shared this, are also different. This stuff is pretty simple. Create a profile on Google+, Plus, start plus wanting stuff, and your name will get under there too. This is what we're concerned about right now. Profile pictures connected to the content. This is Matt Cutts, and this is Matt Cutts' blog. You'll also notice that these profile pictures are up toward the top of the rankings. That's because Matt has created his content so that it ranks very highly in the search engine results. Why not do what Matt does? You'll need three things in order to make this work. The first is an author page. This is really just an about me page. It's pretty basic, but it's information about the particular author. The second is a profile, and you will need a Google profile in order for this to work. If you're already on Google+, then you've got one. Content is the third and final thing, and that can be anything from a blog post to maybe some articles that you've written to pages that you're putting up on your website. So here you are, you're this busy author, you're creating content, and you've created an about me page, basically your author page. What we like to do now is prove to Google that this is our author page, letting Google know that we are who we say we are. How do we do this? It's pretty simple. All we need to do is put a link to our Google Plus profile on our author page or the about me page. Now, this little link right here, this hyperlink, when somebody clicks on this hyperlink, it will take them to my Google Plus profile, but it has to be coded in a certain way, and I'll show you that right here. This is the HTML that actually creates that little Google Plus hyperlink. It may look a little complicated, but it's pretty simple. There are three main parts to this. The first is this rel attribute. Now, rel equals quote me quote has to be there exactly like that. And when you put that there, what it does, it's almost like a secret code. And it tells Google that this particular page is the base of operations. This is my author page. The second part here is a link to your Google profile. The third part is what to display. In this example, I've just put in Google+, but you could really write in whatever you want, and it will become the new hyperlink. Next, we need a Google profile. This is what my Google profile looks like. And again, we need to prove to Google that this is our Google profile. The way that we'll do that is by creating a link back to our author page. So remember in step one, our author page had a link that connected to our Google profile. Step two is really just doing the reverse. We're now going to connect our Google profile to our author page. To do that, you're gonna go right where it says links here and you're going to edit these links and add a link. And Google's thinking is if you're the one who has the password that will allow you to edit this information, then it's probably you. And that's how you basically prove that you are who you say you are. What I did is I added a link that says about me. And when people click on this link, this takes them back to my author page. And now the circle's complete. I have my Google profile linked to my author page, and I have my author page that links back to my Google profile. Now it's all about the content. Every single page, every single post, every single article that you create should be connected to your author page. That's what allows Google to put your profile picture on the search results. It's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is put a link, again, to the author page. Now the way that I do it is a little hyperlink just with a little sign off, and this is just my typical sign off for everything. I'll just put a dash Mercer because I go by Mercer. Now again, this hyperlink is everything, and it has to be coded in a specific way. Here's the HTML for that. Looks a little complicated, I know, but again, three basic parts. The first is rel author. Now this is different instead of rel me. You saw on that first page, in the author page, it was rel me. Rel me is the code you use to tell Google which page is the author page, and there's only one author page. Here, we want to say rel author. This again is kind of a secret code, and it tells Google that this page is connected to an author. The next question is, which author? And that's what this is right here. 
So the author page link, in this case, this is my author page. And if you go to wptrainingvideos.com forward slash about Mercer, you'll see my author page. The third and final section is the text that you want to be clickable. Whatever's between these brackets is what becomes hyperlinked. On every blog post that I have, I have a little dash Mercer. And when you click on Mercer, it will take you to my author page. Now let's say you have everything set up correctly. How do you know it's working? It's actually pretty simple. There's a nice little tool you can use. It's called the Rich Snippets Testing Tool, and you can find it right there. There is no login required, just type it in, and then you'll take the URL of the page that you wanna check and click on Preview. As an example, we recently created a WordPress podcast and we released our first one. We put this in a blog post, and you can see that here. We took the URL and we clicked on preview. And there you can see the link for our WordPress podcasts on security plugins. And next to that is my profile picture. This proves that I've set it up correctly and that Google can see everything that it needs to if it wants to put my profile picture there. Now, if you listened carefully, I said, if it decides it wants to put my picture there, there are no guarantees that your picture will show up because it's based on a lot of different factors. But the important thing to realize here is I have behind the scenes told Google that yes, I have generated unique, relevant content and I have validated that I am who I say I am because I've taken the time to build an author page and connect it to my Google profile. Google's job is to provide quality content for people who are searching for information and I've just helped it to do that. And even if Google decides not to put my picture in the search results, it doesn't matter because I've set myself apart from just about everybody else out there by letting Google know that I am the person who generated this unique content and that's what helps me to rank higher in search engine results. If you haven't already, take a moment to visit wptrainingvideos.com. We've got some great WordPress training videos out there for you. Please share this video if you thought it was useful on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and LinkedIn. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned, stay connected, and we'll see you on the next video.